Welcome to the German Gym Show as Gillingham head up to play their longest away game of the season. And yes, it's on a Tuesday night as well up at Barrow. It's an important game this one. Both teams fighting for that playoff spot in seventh position at the moment. And whoever wins this one will end up in that position. I'm going to be your host, Reese, to take you through every step of tonight's game on this German Jules Light Show. I'm feeling a lot better now, thank goodness. Thank you for all the messages you sent from the last video. It's much appreciated. And uh, hopefully Jules can pull out a victory on this very important game this evening. A big shout out to our sponsor, CNA Building Products. If you have a project going at the moment and you need building materials, if you go to the link in the description down below and find their catalogue and you're a Jules season ticket holder, you can get 10% off your next order. There will be no Luke's 11 for tonight's fixture, but I want to give a big shout out to our owner, Brad Gallinson, who has offered all traveling fans heading to Barrow tonight a free drink in a local bar before the game. Again, we are blessed to have such caring owners who are fan centric. So thank you so much, Brad and Shannon, for all you do at our club. And speaking of fans, we have the German Jules fan zone. Let's hear what fans have been saying about our match this evening. Afternoon, Reese. Hope you're well. The result tonight going to be 1 0 to Jules, and he's going to be. Master says, up the kill, all good kill. Hi, Reese, been here. Really excited about today's Barrow. I think Jill's going to win 2 1. I think Johnny Williams and, and Ollie Hawkins will score. Lost game to Jill. Good evening, Reese Ben here. Just arrived at Hulker Street for this evening's game with Barrow away. Hope you are doing a lot better from Saturdays, as I heard that you were not feeling the best. So, hopefully, you are better, Reese. Um, so my score prediction for tonight's game, I am going to go for a one-all draw and I'm going to say a hat-trick for Timmy Dieng as uh, he gets us a point. But fingers crossed for three points and uh, Los gets jailed. Let's head over to Holker Street for today's live match reaction. Los gets jailed! So we're about to get underway here at Holker Street. Big shout out to our sponsor, CNA Building Products. Uh, if you want to check out the catalogue, use the link in the description down below. And thank you to Jay for donating 10 bits to the channel. It's very much appreciated. And uh, any donations to the channel are much appreciated. They really help support of what we do here. And we've got a couple of shout outs, actually. We're going to go Callum is going for a 2 0 today to challenge a playoff push. Uh, Joseph, I think, is going for a 1 all tonight. And we've got Craig from Canada is going for a 2 1 win. We need some free points to really cement that playoff position. So hopefully we can do that with the 11 out of 11 predicted, which Luke got right. Is that all the shout-outs done? I think so. <laughs> Let's see how it unfolds. Oh, that's a naughty tackle. I'd be interested to see what the referee gives here. He's going to give a yellow card to Stockton. And I have to see this one more time. It's Johnny Williams, I think, that's gone down, is it? I think. My goodness me, I can't believe maybe a foul in the first few minutes is going to make the highlight reel. Wow, Stockton was given a straight yellow card for that. I'd like to see that in the replay. We're going to wait for the replay and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, here's the original tackle that we uh, was the first yellow card. And boy, I've got to say, the referee, I think, has, uh, has got that one. I'm going to go out and say he's got that wrong. That, for me, is a straight red card. That is reckless and out of control from Stockton. I'm sorry, I have to say. I think Barrow are very lucky to have 11 players on this pitch. Warren's got the ball on the right side. He's chucked it in for Spencer Chase. It should go out for a throw, but Spencer, uh, goalkeeper Spencer keeps it. It's a shot on goal and it's collected by Morris. It's a shot in the end by Aqua. There's a little bit of complacency there at the back. I think it was from Max Clark. He was trying to usher the ball out of play and it led from Sp uh, Spencer just to get inside and put the ball across and for Aqua to take the shot. And uh, luckily, Glenn Morris was alert at his near post. But that is the first shot on target. And as customary, I may as well put it in the highlight roll because that's the first real chance of note. Still no nil. Oh, Jill's got to be careful here. It's really pulled up by Carl and like him, and it goes wide left out of the post. And Aqua had another opportunity to try and get Barrow in front. It was a defensive lap in the end from Coleman, who's been pretty solid all season. Uh, and, you know, and he got caught sleeping there, and uh, Aqua was a bit more alert to it and just didn't get a shot on target. Gillingham been a little bit uh, shaky this sort of the last. Uh, the last minute or two, actually, was Spence with the tackle, and uh, that fell to Aqua in the end, who took the shot. My goodness me. Last minute or so, Gillingham's defence has been a little bit frail and needs to tie it up. 
bearer of ping this one left and uh, to left the side of the pitch is clear up by Farman and uh, Jill's half clear it but not that convincingly as Barrow do regain possession one more time through Campbell to try and pass it through instead they've got it to the left hand side I think it's going to be Gott standing on the board to deliver the ball in the box and Jill's in the real defensive work to do it's a head towards goal there's going to be a goal for Barrow it's in the back of the net it's put in by Chester and Gillingham are 1-0 down just on the before the stroke of the 40th minute it has been such a scrappy affair but if you all think considered Barrow with a team that was starting to edge forward in this game and creating a couple more opportunities in Gillingham and uh, Gillingham now got a lot of work to do going 1-0 down just before half time yeah let's have a look at the replay of this one one more time I just think at the moment Gillingham defence has been a little bit squeaky a bit, a bit uh, leaky the last sort of the last sort of five ten minutes really it's a good ball in the box and uh, you, I tell you what it's a good challenge in the air by Ray who managed to to get that down for, uh, for Chester to put in the back of the net and there's nothing Morris can really do about that and Barrow do go 1-0 up and that is uh, half time, and we've got no German deals reported at Barrett today. So uh, we're just going to jump straight into the second half to see if Gillian can actually get back into this game. So we're about to start the second half and a big shout out to our other sponsor, Viper Golf. If you would like to re uh, a retro golf shirt, you can go to the website, use the code GG5 and get £5 off your order. Um, anyway, Gillingham, 1-0 down. Let's see if we can find a way back into this. We're a bit better getting back into games, so hopefully we can continue that bit of form to find a way to get at least something from this or a long away trip at Barrow. No, Conwell's lost the ball in the centre of the park and Jilling under a lot of pressure at the moment. There's going to be a chance of Spence running through him. Amos got some tracking back to just shot on goal and a save by Glenn Morris. And I've got to say, Coleman's having a really poor game today. He's been great, obviously, all season, but he's given the ball the way there very easily. I know the pitch is bobbly, uh, but uh, Jills could have easily conceded their second goal of the night if it wasn't for a solid save by Morris and Spence in it with a bit more uh, force. <laughs> but Gillingham just about get away with that one and the first real chance of the second half so far. Aqua's got the ball on the left-hand side for Barrow as Gillingham trying to stop this play from coming in. Aqua's done really well to get the ball into dangerous position. He's going to take a shot on goal. Oh, 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 what a goal that is from Aqua. My goodness me. I mean, you could argue from a Gillingham perspective he should be closing down. We should be doing a lot more to put pressure on him. And I would agree that to a certain extent, actually, but he's absolutely peached that one into the top right corner and Morris hasn't got a chance of saving that whatsoever. And uh, it's such a shame because I think that's going to be a nail in the coffin for Gillingham's any points <laughs> that we're going to hope to get today. But I have to say, Amos should be probably doing a little bit better there. He has put the pressure on there, but it's a little bit... It's a little bit lazy. It's a little bit sloppy. Is it because we've had, we've had a lot of games recently? Barrow are very fresh. But then again, when someone pulls it out the bag like that, you've got to bow down and say, fair enough. Chilling on a 2 0 down. It's going to be hard to get back into this one. Jill's got a free kick on the left side. It's going to be puts it into the box. Can Jill's get the first shot on target? They're going ahead towards goal. And it is our first shot of the target. It's taken 62 minutes. My goodness me. It was a ball from the left side from Mahoney. And. Uh, these are into the ground, and I'm trying to squeeze a highlight of the first real Gillingham attack in this game so far. <sighs> it's 2-0 Barrow, but Gillingham got a shot on target. It's a ball over to the left-hand side. It's a great ball, actually, as Malone picks it up. He actually controls it well, considering he puts it into the box. Anyone there to get something on it? Walker just takes that beautifully. Gets it over to the left-hand side, puts it into the box. Can Gilles get something? It's shorty. Someone put it away. It's, it's a good shot, it is, by Hutton. And I've got to say, that's probably the best pass you play that Gillingham have had in this half so far. And it might be saying something, but actually the quality is there. It's just not It's just not igniting today. And I actually thought that piece of work by Walker to get the ball down, get it out to Hutton on the right-hand side was really good. And uh, we're going to watch it one more time as it came from uh, from Malone on the left-hand side, crossed it over, great touch from Walker, got it down, good control. Hutton was there on the right-hand side, first ball into the bo first time into the box, and oh, she was a little bit unlucky there, but a good alertness from uh, Hutton to get another shot straight down the keeper's throat, Farman, unfortunately. And uh, that's the only highlight, Gillingham. Again, is it the second highlight we've had? That's kind of been what it's like, unfortunately, for this game. Mahoney's going to deliver this one for the right-hand side. Jill's got a corner as it goes into the box. Not the best corner. It's cleared away by Barra, but can we recycle it one more time, get in the box? Can Jill put their foot for it? Can someone put their foot for it? Master's got the ball on the left-hand side. Someone do something with it. At least give us something to cheer about as it goes through a half seer player. As it goes into the back post. Can Jill's get something here? It's headed towards the goal. Oh, that was the moment, I think, as it's punched away by the goalkeeper. Still bouncing around, and Jill's get themselves another corner on the left-hand side. Is this the most exciting it's been this whole game for a Jules perspective? Probably, and it's a little bit too late, unfortunately. 
And that is full time. And just to say, there was an altercation between uh, Hutton and Masterton, which actually wasn't shown on iFollow, and they were showing a replay at the time, so I didn't get to see that. But that really sums up kind of Gillingham's night, unfortunately. Um, credit goes out to all the fans that made the journey. 168, I think it was in. Real, real strong effort. So congratulations uh, uh, to making that journey. It's a real, it's a real hard one, that. And uh, yeah. And uh, safe journeys back to all the Jules fans as well, if you happen to watch that on the way back from Barrow. Um, yeah, we're at the playoffs. But there's still uh, enough of the season left for us to climb back in it. We've got to play Barrow again one more time, of course. But nonetheless, a very disappointing even Virginia perspective. And we march on to Tranmere Rovers on Saturday. <sighs> oh, well. Tuna Barrow. But as ever, Lorskates Jules.